Uh, hi everyone, um, welcome to Lesos Tutoring on Math 2011, 2012 and 2014, the Engineering Math and these are my email address in case you want to get hold of me, okay? And now, um, in this video I will be doing a, a real imaginary form, uh, this is the section in algebra, this is the section in algebra, um, yeah, okay? Now. In, in real imaginary form, uh, we, 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 we get uh, to, to meet I, and I is an imaginary number such that I squared is equal to minus 1. So, I am saying that I is an imaginary, imaginary number such that such that i squared is equals to minus one okay now this is this is the definition and it, it it came long ago and then we we just have to stick to it and then use it for our own advantage okay now i'm going to come up with uh, i raised to the different powers so that to, to be able to know like uh, when do we have minus one or when do we have something else, okay? Now, if we have i raised to the power of one, i raised to the power of two, i raised to the power of three, i raised to the power of four, i raised to the power of five. And then um, we, we, we want to find out what this, this thing is. So i is i. So i is equals to i okay now i squared we just defined it to be equals to minus one and then here it's gonna be uh minus one okay i cubed know that i cubed is made up of i squared um multiplied by i and therefore we we said that i squared is equals to minus one so we substitute um, minus one in place of i squared so this becomes minus i okay now i to the power of four i to the power of four is made up of i squared multiplied by i squared i squared multiplied by i squared so it's like minus one this is the same as minus one by minus one which is equal to one okay now uh, having this i to the power of five is made up of i to the power of four by i and we defined i to the power of 4 as being equal to 1 so this can be can be written as i and if you are to continue with this thing you'll you'll realize that it's it is repeating so um what is really happening is that when i is raised to any multiple of 4 we get a positive one okay this is the definition and when i and then when i it uh, it's it, it's yeah and then when i it is it, it's it's like a it's odd as much as here three six nine we get negative i okay now i just what is very important is for you to be able to 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 take this one into consideration because it's very important this one and i squared uh is equal to minus one this this two here are the what 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 is really important because we we derive other other stuff from from them okay now we are I'm going to go straight into the complex to define a complex number. A complex number, say z, is equals to x plus i y. When when a complex number is written like this, we we say that z is in real imaginary form. We say that z is in real is in real imaginary imaginary 
form. And from there, X is the real is the real part of Z. X is the real part. Y is the imaginary part of Z. Y is the imaginary imaginary part of Z. Okay? Now writing such a long thing like this um, we, 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 find, we find a way of writing X to mean the same thing as this sentence here. When we want to say X is the real part of, of Z, it is written as X is equal to capital R E Z. Okay? And then in this part, Y is the imaginary part of Z, we just write it as Y is equals to I M Z. This 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 thing here, this one and this one mean the same thing. And this one and this one means the same thing. Okay? Now we are going to conjugation. What conjugation basically is that we 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 okay before 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 okay I, I just realized something that we, before we can go to conjugation, let us define I Y because we said Y is the is the imaginary part of Z. Now I Y is the pure imaginary part, is the pure imaginary number. Okay? It's not a part, it's a number. So I Y this is the pure imaginary imaginary number okay and then yeah that is that i y is, is the pure imaginary number and then x is the pure real number x pure real pure real number okay now we're gonna go into conjugation with conjugation uh, the conjugate of t written as something like this and it is pronounced as z bar uh, is pronounced as z bar it's written as z bar is equals to um, is equals to x minus i y i y yeah note that we changed the sign of a uh, of the real of the real we change the sign of the real part of uh, of t of the imaginary part of t not so this is the real part we change the sign of the imaginary part of z okay and now going forward um going forward with this we okay going forward with this we're gonna define we, we we're gonna see that you're gonna see that for every complex number we're gonna every complex number has has a square root. That is what I'm saying is every complex number this this something like this means complex number has a has a square root. And in fact, it has two square roots which are negatives of each other. Okay? It has two square roots which are negatives of each other. You, you, you'll see what this means as, as soon as we get to do uh, the, the, the examples and, and problems. Okay? Now, going forward, um, say, now we, we, we want to find those roots that we are talking about. Okay? We want to find those roots that we are talking about. Now, say we are given a complex number C, complex number C defined by A plus I B, okay? And then we have our own complex number, which is Z is equal to X plus I B. Ah, uh, X plus I Y, sorry about that. It must to be Y. X plus I Y, okay? Now, with a complex number, 
we what we want to show is that z squared is equal to c for us to be able to find the square root of a complex number we should show that z squared is equal to c okay now let's take z squared z squared uh, if you are to square this say we have x plus i y squared which is give us x plus i y okay which is z squared must be equal to a plus i b okay now uh what we do here what we will have is that we're gonna have x squared after multiplying this and this and then we have we're gonna have plus two x y i okay and then we're gonna have plus y squared i squared know that we're gonna have plus y squared i squared but we said i squared is a negative it's minus one so this simplifies to x squared let me write it here x squared plus two x y i minus uh, y squared is equals to a plus i b okay now when we want to work out the the what the square root of of a of a complex number z what we do is that we are going to equate the real and the imaginary part of the two complex numbers and then from there we're going to have equations two equations with two unknowns x and y and we'll be able to f to solve simultaneously okay now equating the the real and the imaginary part here uh, the real part of this is x squared minus y squared and we equate it with the real part of of this side which is equal to a and then the imaginary part of this thing here is 2x y and then we equate it to b okay then this becomes the equation one this becomes your equation two and then you continue to do your simultaneous equation to find the the uh, square root of of a given of a given complex number okay now this was just an introduction to give you uh, what we will be doing because at the next video um, i will be doing the uh, i will be doing tutorials i will be doing tutorials um concerning what we just did i'm not gonna do tutorials where we have we'll be doing something that we did in grade 12 or grade 11 so thank you for watching check out for the next video where i will be doing tutorials just enjoy your day